Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how we can migrate Salesforce data to Zoho CRM. It also can help us to understand what the database table structures and relationship look like behind of the scene, including Salesforce, Zoho CRM or other CRM. Uh, in Salesforce account, we can export uh, all the uh, modules data to Excel sheet, for example. Here's the all the Excel sheet you might get. Let me show you. Those are all uh, I exported the uh, data from uh, Salesforce to become the Excel sheet or the CSV file. Um, uh, if you see those, uh, the size is more than one kilobyte. That means you have some data in it. Uh, if you see only some of uh, some of the uh, CSV file or Excel sheet only have one kilobyte, that means there is no data in it. So there's no no record. For example, this is the one. You cannot directly import uh, each module data in the CSV file into Zoho CRM module. For example, let's say this is the contact information from the uh, uh, Salesforce, uh, as you can see, here is um, there are quite a lot of uh, um, column, but here is the thing: account ID in contact uh, module Salesforce. They only show account ID. We don't have account name, but when we import to Zoho CRM, we need the account name, not the account ID. Uh, where is the account ID uh, account name here? Uh, it's located in another CSV file. This is the account ID, right? So th this is the account name. So that means we need to find a way to replace the uh, account ID in contact in contact sheet to the real company name or account name. Then, after that, we can import it. Uh, if you only have a couple of uh, account ID here, and only have uh, you know, less than 100 uh, uh, contacts, uh, then you can manually to find the, uh, ac the account ID from account and find the uh, name and manually replace here. But uh, if you have hundreds or even thousands, it's nearly impossible to do that manually. So what we can do is we usually is uh, import those account table, uh, account information and contact information to SQL database. To SQL database and uh, then all the data will be in the SQL database table. After that, we can build a relationship between the contact and account, and then we can use SQL query to get what we want. Uh, let me show you how, how to do that. I click a new query, and uh, I get um, I want to get those select those two table and add it. And then we need to build a relationship, which is um, contact. I'm looking for account ID. This is the one, right? And uh, this is the ID. This is the account ID. So we need to build a relationship. Okay. And then I select uh, what field we like to show. Okay. I select the uh, first and last name and uh, ID. And the main thing is this account name because we want to see the account name and then I just click OK and uh, let's run this uh, query OK, as you can see uh, this is the contact first name and last name or the address and this is the company name so we get the company name related to the, uh, uh, the uh, contact uh, what we can do is we can copy uh, copy all and then copy it and put it into the Excel sheet for importing. That's all. Thank you.